Welcome everyone, my name is Mr. McGregor and in this video we're going to look at acceleration. By the end of this video you will be able to define the term acceleration, use formulae to calculate acceleration, change in speed or change in time, and state the SI unit for acceleration. Acceleration is a measure of how quickly something changes its speed and that changing speed is the important part. On the left is a VW Polo, similar to what I drive, and on the right is a Bugatti Veyron, what I wish I could get to drive. Both of those cars will travel quite comfortably at 50 km an hour. But if we'd stopped at the traffic lights and pulled up next to each other, the difference would be that the Bugatti can accelerate to that 50 km per hour much faster than my car can. It will change its speed much more rapidly than the poor Polo. So to find acceleration we use our acceleration equation which is acceleration is equal to the change in speed divided by the change in time. And again we're using that triangle to mean change in. Excel A is the acceleration in meters per second squared, V is the speed in meters per second, and T is the time in seconds. And one point to note there is that the, speed, uh, the units for acceleration and speed are quite similar, but acceleration is meters per second squared, so it gets a little negative two, while V is meters per second, gets a little negative one. To find the change in speed, we go the final speed minus the initial speed. And we're going to use that shortly. So let's calculate the acceleration of the Polo and the Veyron. The VW Polo goes from 0 to 14 meters per second, which is about 50 kilometers an hour, in 7.5 seconds. The Bugatti Veyron does it in 1.2 seconds. So in this case, our change in speed is 14 meters per second. It's gone from 0 up to 14. It took 7.5 seconds, we use our acceleration equation, we go 14 divided by 7.5, the Polo has an acceleration of 1.87 meters per second squared. Follow the same procedure for the Bugatti, it's got the same change in speed, but obviously is doing it in a much shorter time. Plug the values into the equation, and we get an acceleration of 11.7 meters per second squared. That means the Bugatti is accelerating significantly faster than the Polo. So let's say we want to work out how long it takes the Bugatti to go from that speed of 14 meters per second up to 22 meters per second. That would give us a V initial of 14 and a V final of 22. It's traveling at the same acceleration of 11.7 meters per second squared and we're trying to find the time. We're going to have to use this magic triangle this time. When we cover up the time we see that it is equal to the change in speed divided by acceleration. And again, that change in speed must go before the division because that's what's on top of our magic triangle. To find the change in speed, we go final speed minus the initial speed, so 22 minus 14 to give us 8 meters per second. We put that into our equation, 8 divided by 11.7 gives us 0 0.68 seconds. Very quick. Now let's imagine that it was at that 22 meters per second and it accelerated for 20 seconds. How fast would it end up going? Again we look at our magic triangle. We're trying to find the V final, so we cover up our delta V or triangle V. We get the equation that the change in velocity is equal to the acceleration times the time. So 11.7, that same acceleration, multiplied by 20, se 20 seconds giving us 234 meters per second. But that's not quite our final answer. It doesn't mean it ends up traveling at 234 meters per second. It means that it got 234 meters per second faster than it already was. And it was already traveling at 22 meters per second. So the final speed is equal to the initial speed plus any change in speed. So in this case, the final speed is the initial 22 plus that change of 234 giving a total final speed of 256 meters per second. Which, by the way, is 918 kilometers per hour and completely impossible, but that's beside the point. So now you should be able to define acceleration as the change in an object's speed. You can use the equation to calculate acceleration, the change in speed or the change in time. And you can recall that the SI unit for acceleration is meters per second squared. Thanks for watching.